In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for K3PO4 plus PbNO32. This is potassium phosphate. This is lead to nitrate. First thing we need to do with our net ionic equation, balance the molecular equation. When I look at this, I see there's a lead here and three leads here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the lead to nitrate. Leads are balanced. Now I have three nitrates times two, six nitrates. So I need to put a six here. So now I have the six nitrates, six potassiums though. If I put a two here, two times three, six potassiums. And then I have two of the phosphates, but I have two phosphates here. So we're done. That's the balanced molecular equation. Next, we need to write the states for each substance. Potassium compounds are very soluble. Even though phosphate in general, those compounds aren't. The potassium phosphate, sodium phosphate, and ammonium phosphate, those are all very soluble. Most of the phosphates, though, are not. Nitrates are very soluble. And then we have over here this phosphate again, lead to phosphate. This is going to be insoluble. So because it's insoluble, it's going to be a solid. It's going to fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. This is a precipitation reaction. Nitrates, very soluble. Potassium compounds, very soluble. So aqueous. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Potassium on the periodic table, that's one plus. The whole phosphate ion is three minus. Good one to remember. Two times three, six potassium ions. I won't write the states each time. Let's do that at the end. Plus two phosphate ions, four, three minus. Then lead is a transition metal. We can't tell its charge without looking at what it's bonded to. Since the nitrate ion, the whole thing is one minus, and we have two of them, the lead has to be two plus. So we have three lead ions, three lead, what we call lead two ions, because they're two plus. And then we have three nitrates times two. So six nitrate ions. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we do not split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we just have this lead to phosphate staying together. Then the potassium and the nitrate, six potassium ions, just like in the reactants, and six nitrate ions, just like the reactants. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. It's on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants, I see there are six potassium ions here and in the products. Those are spectator ions. We also have six nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. Those are spectator ions as well. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for potassium phosphate plus lead to nitrate. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium phosphate plus lead to nitrate. You can see charge is balanced. We have two times the three minus. That gives us six minus. Three times two plus is six plus. So those two add up to zero. Over here we have a neutral compound. The atoms, they're balanced as well. Often you'll see the positive ion put first. Doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer. So this is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for K3PO4 plus PBNO32. Thanks for watching.